Like when a Zen abbot comes out and he sits there in front of his people and he's doing his Zen abbot thing, yeah, and he's very, very zen very clear, you know, or the, the, the love guru comes out and sitting there doing his guru thing and he's very loving. And hopefully it's real. I mean, some people are good at pretending stuff, but hopefully it's real. And uh, and like that, that doesn't mean what people think of it. That doesn't mean that when he leaves the scene and he's not doing that job anymore, that he's like that. You understand? See, we want people that we look up to to be that thing and only that thing. They're not. I mean, I got dirt on Abraham Lincoln, Stuart Emery, Warren Earhart, Boba Frijan, hey, Peter Ralston. Whoa. The internet's got dirt on Boba Frijan. Even Jesus fucked around. I mean, come on. And that guy was the same. Gandhi. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Gandhi had some challenges. Huh? See, that doesn't mean all those people weren't great people. They were. They were the great people that they were. See? But they were also people. See, and you're going to run into that. Yeah? See? Because you're going to get so fucking enlightened, right? And then you're also going to be a person. And you'll be confused about it. Oh, but wait. I'm not a saint. I'm not walking on water. Oh, I have these thoughts and I take shits. That's right. So did Gautama Buddha. So you're right up there with Gautama Buddha, you know? He took shits too. But nobody ever talks about it. You ever notice that? There's not one fucking word in any Buddhist text anywhere about Buddha taking a shit. I guess they just figure, you know, hey, no use mentioning that. <laughs> See? But I mean, did he squat? Did he take his loin? I hope he took his loincloth off first, huh? He pissed, he shat, he ate, he begged. You know. But we don't know much about him. Because, you know, he's dead 2,500 years ago. No videotape, no movies, nothing. No journals. He didn't write anything. Nobody wrote anything even while he was alive. So, you know, it's all hearsay, all legend, right? For you guys, right, <clears throat> what I want you to get is two things. Maybe three. But one, yeah. But it doesn't make any difference about the teachers, because they ain't you. See? Yeah? See, it doesn't make any difference about the teacher, ultimately. See, what does make a difference, I mean, you remember uh, what I told you about Robert Nado and Yeshiba, and he respects Yeshiba no end, right? Yeshiba's a master, he's great. And then, you know, he's traveling with him. They're staying at different people's houses and stuff, and he's traveling with them, and then one morning Yeshiba gets up and trips over his wife. His wife was also traveling with them, and uh, he trips over his wife. And for... Robert, this was a crisis. <laughs> he's a fucking master. He's great. He's wonderful, right? He walks on water. He flows key all over the place. You know, he does marvelous things. How could he trip over his wife? Masters don't trip over their wives. Well, apparently they do. So as Robert said, well, he, was, he had, a, he had a, a decision to make. Do I toss him out as a master because he tripped over his wife, or do I allow masters to trip over their wives? He says, well, he was too valuable to me to toss, so okay, I guess you can trip over your wife. Nothing else, though. But you see the, 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 the relationship here, see? Because he's a teacher. You know, if you're hanging out with Gandhi and you think Gandhi's just his shit don't stink and everything, and he's just so wonderful. Well, yeah, he was. He was courageous and wonderful and committed and all those things that you might admire, hanging out with Gandhi. But he was also a womanizer. He also cheated on his wife. You know what I'm saying, see? See, but if you found that out and you're having like this Gandhi fever and you're, you know, into Gandhi and you're meditating Gandhi, I don't know, he was not a really a guru, but anyway. And then you found that out, you see, you might be devastated and traumatized and say, oh, fuck it, he's a lie, his whole thing's a lie. Well, you'd be a fool to do that.
you see? Because this whole thing wasn't a lie. He actually was committed. He actually did what he did. He was actually very good at what he was doing. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah? And, you know, his person did some stupid things. You 